Hello and welcome back to SpeedyNet, where we are having a geek at the wonderful, well, I was about to say town, but I think village or collection of hovels uh, of St. Hatton is uh, what we're looking at, you know. Um, and you might be wondering, okay, so why is that? <laughs> well, first of all, <laughs> uh, I might have forgotten a <laughs> slight important thing, you know, when we were setting up all the stations last time. Oh, and by the way, about last time, um, <laughs> yeah, I might have forgotten to see how the render came out, huh? I mean, a few of you saw it, <laughs> and I saw it too, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> that's a bad acid trip, as uh, it was aptly described as. <laughs> Man. I don't know how, what changed though. I mean, I, I figured it out in the end because I had to uh, switch some settings and fiddle with it. But you know what's the odd thing? That now that I have changed those settings, the whole file is like huge. Like mega huge. <laughs> it's like 20 gigabytes almost. 20 <laughs> for a video. I mean, it came out good, but I don't know what's, uh, what's wrong. Because in the past, I rendered it just the same way you know <laughs> which came out like spacey and trippy and uh, yeah it was only like i don't know seven gigabytes or so for a video so i don't know what changed but luckily i have the glass fiber internet connection so <laughs> it's not like i'm uploading for two days or so but having uh, gone past the technical difficulties this over here this very brewery is uh, what we still need to connect. <laughs> we have, uh, we've built all the things, <laughs> but uh, forgotten the, the most important destination. So let's fix that quickly, shall we? By uh, starting out here with uh, adding a harbor and also, you know, connecting this hotel and uh, just getting Sanhattan up to speed, right? Alright, and done. Luckily we got this sorted before the authorities started complaining to us. And uh, well, you know, as well as for like uh, what I was considering with the, the vehicles over here, as we have like, cause, I mean, uh, 45 passengers, <laughs> it's like nothing, you know. So we could also go for the Prometheus bus, but I did not do that even though it's faster because of this reliability. Now, it, with just the one bus, it's not much of an issue, and it is a cheaper solution, but I went for a bit of higher reliability, which is 92%, so, you know, there you have it. Now, um, what we need to do as well is start moving all the goods about, so we can get the flow going, and then we can start hooking up the train networks. But I think transporting the goods... Uh, first is important so the trains can start off profitable like straight away so I guess all we need to do right now is um, <laughs> buy a crap load of vehicles <laughs> so here I went uh, on about you know with uh, <laughs> oh I think I might have forgotten something actually <laughs> no what I was about to say is like aside from the things I've forgotten <laughs> it's like I've been uh, you know reducing the amount of vehicles like you know really trying hard to do <laughs> to achieve that <laughs> and then yeah you know we're, we're gonna undo that uh, straight away basically oh well you know sometimes you've got to make sacrifices right so uh, yeah that's uh Let's see that we add like uh, quite a few more vehicles to our uh, roster once again.
Just hold on a second. Hold on a second. Say what? <laughs> Say what? <laughs> this. Oh my good lord. <laughs> Just as we are getting more vehicles, we get even more. <laughs> what is this for? I mean, there is no coincidence. There is no god. This is all meant to be. This is destiny. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Or this, huh? I mean, it's better. Don't get me wrong. This is good. 72 kilometers an hour. This is really good. But this is what counts. So we're not going to use it. But it's also called Excess November. And <laughs> we get it in June. <laughs> oh, great naming there, game. Great naming. Anyway, um, even though we do have it, we shall not use it for now. Th this reliability will go up there over time. So we will use it in the future. But not now. So let's continue. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening all, all over here? I mean... I don't need any beta testing or beta testing or beta testing or whatever you call it. Can we get even more here? Look at that, 30 tons. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> wow, <laughs> okay. Um, noted. I think that we are right now receiving the newest batch of uh, vehicles. I expect to get a few more I will review them in a moment. guys um here, here is something you know right now i mean sure reliability but but look at the speed and the capacity 30 to 18 this is almost double and it has higher speed i mean i think this offsets the reliability so here we are going to choose the uh, this fruit truck or do we have other options <laughs> Not really.
Right, I think uh, that I got them all, uh, except, and I know that the, we haven't hooked those up, uh, these ones here, but I kind of want to wait and see how the tracks of the station pan out before I uh, hook these up, but we will, uh, as well as this one, as well as this one. Maybe to this station, I don't know, we'll have to see, I mean this road works is there already, so it wouldn't be that difficult, but I'll have to see how the tracks of this station pan out. But. Um, yeah, so far so good, I think, you know, we got uh, we, 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 we got a bit of uh, bauxite uh, gathering up here and there, you know, so, mm. stuff's looking good. Oh, and by the way, how, how is it going? Oh, oh, well, it's declining, it's declining. We are slowly but surely making, uh, making work of it, you know, I mean, yeah, look, it's declining. It's not like it's going all that quick, but <laughs> you, I think, yeah. You have plenty of meals, so that does mean that you, yeah, you're growing, actually. Nice. I like, I like. Anyway, um, I guess now that we have the road vehicles done, uh, what we should do is get the train tracks done. Um, and those are going to be a little bit more... Wait. Are we sure that this was... Here <laughs> when I started uh, with the station, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to lay down some train tracks. So um, yeah, I guess it's time to uh, connect those up and see how we can do that in a clever way. So uh, let me just have a quick look about, like to where needs to go. What is also the question. This basically is, needs to at least connect up to there. I feel, uh, not that there's any box height going to it, but uh, for the passengers. So let's just slowly but surely work our way towards uh, connecting it all up and then we'll see uh, how things go, right?
Right guys, so he here's an interesting choice that we have to make now. Uh, we can either go by Steam, and we know Steam to be pretty, pretty powerful. But it has a higher running cost. Now it also has a high reliability, but I guess that should not really be a thing. Because this also has a high reliability. So it's, a, it's either this, or, and this is of course the more important bit, this. And it also has a pretty high attractive effort. Now I do think that we're gonna need more than one train. But let's just uh, see what we can do with this. Because I kind of feel like, you know, we, we are close to the 1950s. Look, we're, we're living in 1949. I think that the time of steam, you know, the era of steam, is more or less uh, running to an end. And I think we should... Well, this is also a pretty nice one. It's not that much difference in terms of... Oh, uh, well... I mean, this, this does have re-gearing. Re Let me see, what can we do here? So we can go with 144 kilometers an hour with the 324. Let's have a look at what the speed is of A, our caboose, <laughs> and B, also our uh, fruit tanker thingies. 128 or unlimited, that's interesting. Oh, 160. You can have this go like really, really fast. Even. Question is, though, what can I, what, what can a caboose do? Yeah, it's still limited by 128. So I get, I guess what we should do is then also have this one go with the 128. So I guess, I guess a tanker car is maybe a good one. Or the refrigerator car, because that can carry just a little bit more. Wow, the utility van, though. That can carry a hell of a lot more. Maybe we should have this go by cargo capacity. And then... Wait, you can carry even more? <laughs> what? <laughs> how, how does this work? <laughs> So the utility van can actually carry the most. Let's let's see this because I, I haven't really ever. Uh, is that a funny way to? Nah, that's not true. It's only 22 tons. So if I were to go with uh, it's not capacity, it's maximum speed that we want, and then do it like this, and then we know that. Uh, Basically this, and then either this or this is what we want. Now I think we want to refrigerate the car, because that has the most capacity. And also has the 120, has the 128 uh, speed, so. Yeah, okay, uh, we've just made a choice here. But yeah, I think it's time that we run the fancy electrics. I, I have upgraded a hell of a lot of trains uh, to steam engines. So, yeah, you know, so far for our good intentions. But yeah, it's, be it's better to make the switch now than to have to do it uh, even later. You know? So, uh, yeah, you know, th this new part of our network is gonna run electric. Now, I have to admit, <laughs> the acceleration is a little bit... Nah. <laughs> Maybe we should add a few more wagons and then... Uh, <laughs> uh, also another locomotive. But I don't know, we'll have to see. I mean, it, it has to you know, do the downhill part when it's loaded. It has to go uphill when it's empty. And I do expect it to uh, accelerate a lot more quickly when it's... Uh, when it's empty. However, uh, during the track building, I also thought, you know, and reminded myself of a... Indeed. Ooh. 
a Toronto cruiser. We'll look into that later. Yeah, but I did remind myself of a small bug that is uh, still present with this pack, and that is that if you were to uh, drag the um, the signals through a tunnel or a bridge, then basically, uh, yeah, the game crashes. <laughs> so I was very careful to not to do that, of course. Yeah. Let's uh, let us also buy a ship, and I think over here I want fruit again uh, and maximum speed. And then we we, we know that uh, the flumelet, <laughs> or is it no? It is fumelet paddle steamer. It's the best one, but it is ooh, it is expensive. That is true, and the wind jammer is also pretty good, and that is so much cheaper. We're gonna have a wind jammer. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I do not know if we can get away with um, with only 250 crates of good, but if we don't, we're definitely gonna have like uh, maybe a Patrykos freighter, you know? Maybe we should look at cargo capacity. Because I don't really want that much, uh, that much ships. Yeah, then it's gonna be the Petrikos freighter. For now, we're gonna do it with this, with the fast wind jammer. But we'll see how far we get. I assume that we're gonna have to change this once the farm supplies come into play. But for now, we're gonna set this up, and um, then we'll be doing uh, a bit more, a few. Uh, <laughs> I guess uh, I'll have to do some uh, water reconstructions here.
Hold on a second. I mean, whilst I was building all these tracks, <laughs> there's quite a few tracks that I've been building. I saw a message over here. Train 604 can't find a path to continue. Say what? Has the whole thing... Oh my. I think the whole thing has jammed. It looks like actually the whole thing has jammed all because of this over here. <gasps> and I believe I've been setting up all of this in just the same way. <gasps> Wait, shouldn't I? Let me see if this can get fixed by... Yeah. <laughs> what a single... Uh, misplaced signal can do to your complete train network, huh? It's a good thing I read these messages uh, down here every now and then. Now, it's gonna take quite a while, but I do believe that in a few moments everything should start moving. I mean, look at the, look at the moss that has grown over the tracks. This is, this, this is not good. This is really not good. <laughs> oh my. Alrighty. Now, you know, you know what? I know that this is not good. Because stuff over here is all backed up because of this congestion that we have over here. However, it also leads me to question, like, how many crossovers do we have? It's like not enough. Maybe... We should do an extra crossover over here or somewhere. I mean, I believe that this would have been able to be uh, prevented if trains could have used the inner lane here a little bit more. Maybe we should do one right before here. That might not be such a bad idea. Alright, now we need to pause it. Because <laughs> when stuff over here goes bad, it goes really, really bad. Uh, let me see. Well, actually, all the, station, all the signals are in place. Let's just... Yeah, look, this is already helping. I can see that much. Right, I think we have declogged it, but over here too, you know, sa same story basically. We want this to be an exit signal. Now, I think all of them need to go to the depot for maintenance because we replaced quite a few of them. But, oh well. The, it, will, it will get itself sorted eventually. Um, Moving back towards what we were doing, uh, which was over here, uh, and that was uh, continuing with this rig.
Right, guys, um, let me just have a quick look at how, how, and it's pretty much all moving again already. Alright, so it, it's not, it's not as bad <laughs> as I thought it was. Phew, <laughs> fortunately. Um, there is still a little bit of backlog though that has developed, but I'm pretty sure that, um, that will be gone in no time. Now, where is the... Oh yeah, well, <laughs> this just kept on going. This was once down to just the regular zero, but uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, those are uh, from periods past, huh? Right, now what I've also seen is that I think we've got the fruit situation covered right now, and uh, it's only the bauxite that needs moving. Um... That means a thing though, and that is that over here, I do see <laughs> that there is a staggering amount of fruit collecting. So, however nice this boat is that uh, gets... Ooh. It gets how many per load? Tell me, just tell me. Look, 41,000 per load. We're gonna add a bigger ship to this, so uh, let me buy the biggest one possible. I always love it when we can buy this, though, to be fair, do we need this biggie? Maybe in the future. This one has a lot less reliability. It is half as expensive, though. It also costs a lot less to run. But it has, I think in the end, you know, if we go with this one, I don't know which one is it, the Oran Freighter, that, that is actually not such a bad idea. Compared to, you know, the, the costs and all. I mean, yeah, it's less uh, reliable, but I think this will serve our needs. And again, this is a much quicker boat. And I think we'll go with the real big ship. There, we'll buy it and we'll rename it. We can do that, right? Mm -hmm. We shall call this Fruit Loops. <laughs> oh, how fitting. Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, we shall have you share the thingy with you. Convert you to fruit. There. And be on your merry way. There we go. Nice. Now this should see a significant reduction in the amount of fruit here and also big profits on the outside over there, you know, for this boat. So. And what we can do with this big one is if this, does this exempt alcohol? No, it does not. <laughs> okay. Well, what we can do with this big ship is maybe transfer it to, like you, for example, do accept alcohol. Well, we'll worry about that later. Uh, we, we also have uh, quite a bit of bauxite to still take care of, and... Yeah, I think uh, that's what we should be focusing on, uh, like, right now. Also, you know what? Before we do that, these two fruit plantations, I think we can connect them up safely over here to this station right now. Because uh, we have uh, laid down the tracks, we know where stuff goes. So um, yeah, we'll make like a uh, separate station over here, I think. we have uh, officially now all the oh wait <laughs> the, it never stops there's always more look there's even more over here but i think what we we should do if we're clever is just connect this one to this station 
And we're not ready for that just yet. Uh, what I want to do next is uh, start to collect all the bauxite. Because there is quite a bit of bauxite <laughs> by now. Yeah, like loads of bauxite. Though what surprises me is that this one town, or this one, uh, no, still only via one station. Is there like even any passengers at all? Like, because you, Oh yeah, no, there, there are passengers, but they are all via any station towards any station. I think that is because there is still like no direct destination for any of them. So perhaps what we should do, because these, these have no uh, unloading uh, orders, right? Oh no, they do actually have unloading on this. They... Hold on a second. You are... With... Yeah, no, you, you don't. You are a fruit tree. I think what I need to do is start with... Uh, loading you up with... Uh, with passengers from both directions. I think that is what we should do. Uh, we'll do, we'll do that uh, a little bit later, you know. But we, we we do need to establish like the both way connection for this, you know, for for it to work. I mean, else we're just gonna keep getting uh, you know passengers without destination, and that's of course what we do not want. So. Now, as for the box side. Um, Ideally, we'd connect it to the existing network. But I have to admit that this hill over here kind of borks the efficiency. Because <laughs> this is just... Uh, well, you can say I'm a bit rusty. <laughs> and I cannot deny it. But <laughs> this is also the terrain. I mean, just look at it. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six height elevations over this distance. It's not making it easy, you know. Uh, but I do want to use the existing tracks. I mean, we've got it all there, basically. So, if we are to do that, you know. Also. Ooh, look. This is going to be, like, the first big load of fruit that you are going to be carrying. I just... I'm, I mean, I'm sorry, guys. You know, it, it's not the most interesting stuff. But I want to see this. So. Let me see. How much money are you going to make with a full load? You already got transfer credits, apparently. But they don't count towards your profits. And now the thing is gonna rise up even, look. Look, it's even emptying its holds. How cool is that? Look at, look at how much higher it goes. Wow. <laughs> 84,000. I'd say that is... Well, actually, it's not that much, really, if you think about it. Because a quarter of this with a faster boat is like 40,000. So that's double the value, almost. Perhaps speed is more of the essence. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Uh, I do know that there is plenty of fruit for you still to carry, so... <laughs> you know, there, there, there's that at least. Also, yeah, there's also enough bauxite coming in. We might have to lengthen you up, but... I think for now, you know, we have uh, set up the fruit. I think what we should do next time is uh, get the bauxite in and also get the remaining passengers in. But so far, I think... Um, We've made a pretty good progress here, and just out of curiosity, huh? We have a few ungrouped trains here. Yeah, look, and look, the, the profits are coming in, and, and, and remind you, this is only uh, the trains, and most of them do transfer stuff here for the fruit. You will never see high numbers here, but this is 40,000, and that's just only the one. And if we go over here to the ungrouped vehicles, yeah, those are also only... Uh, well, the, the, vehicle, the vehicles with passengers? 
they should show quite a bit of profit, and they do. And the rest is just all meager transfer credits. So it's looking all good, guys. But we're gonna hook more stuff up and make even more money next time when we play more Open TTD.